Hey everyone, I thought I'd give you a quick overview of the QR code that I want in each and every book. I would like three unique or different QR codes for every book that we publish. Let me tell you what uh, I'm talking about. You know these codes that you see here. For those of you who may not be aware, anybody with a smartphone and uh, a QR reader app, which are free, they can put their phone up to this QR code that you see here, and uh, they will be able to have uh, a certain action take place because of this QR code. The reason why I want this is I want to begin uh, a conversation between the readers of our books and the authors. I've done so many books where millions of people read my book, but I had no way of capturing their email address or beginning a dialogue with them, and a QR code is uh, one vehicle to really help that. Where I want to uh, direct you to go and look at is qrstuff.com. Uh, and just so those of you who may not be aware, QR stands for Quick Response Code. And it's free, and it creates all of these types of actions here. Um, you just got to decide what data type or what you want to happen once you do a QR code. So, for example, um, let's say the author has a, a squeeze page or a page to offer a free coaching session or a free home study course. Well, they just type the URL right here so that when somebody scans the code, it'll direct them directly to a squeeze page where they're making some offer. You see, our clients uh, benefit by increasing the size of their database. And the QR code within the book enhances the opportunity for them to get that uh, connection with them. But look at all the things that it does. So if they, if you want to, if, if if the author wants to direct them to watch a particular video, maybe they're explaining in more detail one particular part of their book, and they want to show something or demonstrate something. You could put the URL right here from the video on YouTube. If the author wants to get people to sign up or follow them on Twitter. They just put their Twitter name here. And the QR code is, is instantly created for them to, for the QR code to take the smartphone and, and send them right to Twitter so that they can follow that person. And I'd like you to play around with this and uh, or pause this uh, recording right now use your smartphone and see what happens. It's just phenomenal. Uh, you can have it uh, ring a phone so that when the customer uh, scans this call or scans this uh, QR code, a phone number will come up on their screen and it'll say, do you want to call the author right now? Now that may not be always appropriate, but it's pretty cool to be able to do it. It can initiate a Skype call. All the person does is puts their uh, Skype phone number, uh, user ID there. The Skype, uh, the, sc the QR code gets changed. And now when anybody scans on this, it'll allow the uh, person to Skype the author directly. It could be about sending an SMS message. You know, maybe the, uh, uh, the author is offering a free 30-minute coaching call. So the QR code then gets scanned by the reader, it opens up their SMS message, their message system, they hit send, and then this gets sent directly from the reader to the author, and then the author then has a has got now the, the person's cell phone and can respond um, with the appropriate uh, uh, response. You can set up an email address, you can set up an email message, and I want you to go and test this, guys. Put somebody's email address in there. Um, you create a subject line uh, uh, from a loyal reader, for example. Uh, I'm reading your book. I'm just showing you an example. Uh, and I want to uh, schedule a meeting. Uh, 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 and, and so when the person scans, you see how it changes this? 
when the person scans this, it automatically on their phone creates this email message and it gets sent directly to you, to the reader. Well, once I get somebody's email address, uh, the email from them that's saying they're ready to, to schedule an appointment, you've got the, the reader has, a, or the, uh, the author has a real um, uh, hot prospect. And it's the same there for contact information. And there's just a number of things, you know, that that you can fill in all the information. So all your contact information gets done to the person. And so I just wanted to show you this. This is why I'm so insistent that every uh, QR, every author has QR codes in the back of their books and uh, for all of our black card authors. But it's also a really good tool for anybody who's publishing anything. And one, one of the things that I uh, thought you should look at is click on the link that says examples. And now you can put QR codes on lanyards. You can put them on postcards. Uh, you can put them on posters. There's just a lot of places where you can use these. And despite what some people say that they're going out of fashion, it, I have no indication that that's happening. And so I encourage you all to go to qrstuff.com and get your QR codes working for you today.